At 430 this weekend's rain could be problematic for parades and other outdoor events planned over the next couple of days. Channel 3 eyewitness news reporter Mike Savino is live in Rocky Hill. Mike, how are towns going to get ready for all these possible rain outs? What a bummer. Yeah, especially Patricia, don't forget that last year, most towns had to cancel all of these events because of the pandemic. So this year, organizers are keeping their fingers crossed that Mother Nature will cooperate. It really had to be a, a downpour to be a total uh, no-go. Before we kick off summer, there's the traditional Memorial Day events, parades and ceremonies to honor fallen troops. This year, the forecast is putting those events in doubt, but in Rocky Hill, Town manager John Mayer is confident there's a window of drier weather. It looks like Monday's a good day, the best day of the three, excuse me, and the, uh, you know, it looks like if we're going to get some rain, and hopefully it'll be early in the morning. Some towns also say a light rain won't stop them from marching. All the veterans groups we've put up with worse weather than a light, uh, light rainfall. If rain does come, towns are mixed on how they'll handle things. North Haven and Cromwell canceled events Saturday, although there's no word on Cromwell's parade on Sunday. Rocky Hill doesn't have plans to move things inside, in part because an outdoor parade remains a safer option because of COVID. Partly uh, an offshoot of the, the COVID rules about if you're outside, you don't need the mask and, and spacing and all that. Middletown would bring its festivities inside at the American Legion, but attendance will be smaller. And we're going to spread things out as much as we can, uh, try to limit the number of people. Towns are hopeful to hold their parades this year. Only a small handful had events last year because of the pandemic. So organizers say these parades are a great way to kick off the summer and return to normalcy. We're going to try and get back to the, the real real parade with the youth groups and the uh, city civic groups and businesses uh, all together getting down Main Street and blowing the horns on the fire trucks. Now, organizers say that they will get the word out if they have to make any changes due to the weather. Before you go out, you can check the Channel 3 app where we have a full listing of all of the parades and events going on this weekend so you can know what's going on before you finalize your plans. Live from Rocky Hill, Mike Savino, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.